Hey drummers, how you doing? It's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com and welcome to this full video song lesson. This song was suggested over on my Facebook page, so if you want to make your own song suggestions, then please go over there to do so. You'll find a link beneath this video. The song is Sweet Talking Woman by the Electric Light Orchestra, drummed by Bev Bevin, which I'm sure one of those parts of his name is made up. I mean, who's, who names a child Bev Bevin, for goodness sake? The intro, uh, drums enter at 12 seconds. So we've got this, like, this lovely instrumental part at the beginning of the song. And then after 12 seconds, seconds, the rest of the band and the drums come in mainly. So what I've written underneath it is note, various drum parts were overdubbed. So this is my interpretation of how one drummer could play the song. So unsurprisingly in the studio, this was a conglomeration of different parts, cuts, different instruments being played all over the place. You can hear it when you listen to it on, on, in your head headphones. You can hear the cuts being made uh, to the drums and the cymbals especially. So there are parts that are being overdubbed. Hi-hat parts I think were overdubbed for the choruses as we get onto later on. We'll talk about that in the chorus. Um, and some other things as well. So there are parts of the song where you can't replicate exactly what you're hearing on the recording because it requires three limbs or um, something else. Um, so this is my interpretation is what I mean by that. How one drummer could play what you hear on the recording. And I'll talk about the different variations as, as we go through. So. First variation to talk about, right at the beginning, after that 12 second intro, we come in with the drums, one and two and three and four and. That's what I'm really hearing, the main part I'm hearing, but if you listen carefully, you can hear the hi-hat is also being played with that. So actually we're getting, but of course we can't play the floor tom at the same time. So if you wanted to replicate more like the recording, but it, I don't think it sounds as powerful, when I notice when they play it live, they play it this way as I've shown you. But if you want to sound like the recording, then you could play bass drum, snare drum, and hi-hat together. Which is just as good, I suppose. And you get that hi-hat effect. But it's so quiet in the mix, it's not really important. But um, it's up to you whether you want to make it sound like the recording or not by including that hi-hat there. But I would play it one and two and three and four and... And perhaps with the bass drum if you wanted to as well. One and two and three and four and... Gives it a little bit too much power though for the song. But that's okay if you want to make it a bit rockier. So we get that intro, then we go into our first bar of groove, 